Hello, in this episode of Design Highlight, we'll take a look at Long Q Chen, a content artist from Pasadena, United States. So one thing I like about Chen's work is that there's some very cool mechanical animal designs. So let's start with uh, some of these right here. So here we have this lizard uh, climber. So some uh, some sort of gecko that is like uh, climbing up based on it's got those kind of suction cup fingers. And so I just like this because it looks very uh, looks very practical in many regards. It's got the uh, the cat logo. It looks like um, some very believable machinery happening here. So I very much like how these people are kind of riding in these seats like they're on a the roller coaster. So I always like it when uh, real animal anatomy is like transcribed into this machinery here. And it just looks very believable, very functional as well. Then we have this uh, tarantula where this uh, person is riding on it. No protection for this guy. He's just very exposed here. So imagine this, this not be must not be a vehicle made for war, or perhaps this is the prototype before it gets all the armor put on it. Here we have a uh, mobile hotel, mobile motel in the shape of a turtle. So I very much like this uh, cute little design here. This uh, creative post-apocalyptic wasteland. You can see this. There's nice reference image here. So. Uh, when you're an when you're an artist, it's a good idea to have many good reference images here, both the shape of the animal, a truck right here, and then kind of what you would expect to see in the motel, Route 66, and all these things. So I always like when artists kind of have a behind the scenes how they put things together, what kind of references they're using. So it's always very much appreciated, and I like to see sketches and different variations. So if you're going to make a portfolio, guys, it's a, I always recommend putting in all the behind the scenes things because. It's very fun and informative and helpful to for beginners to see how you put things together and what your thought process is. Here we have this nice uh, toad vehicle. So a mechanical uh, toad. I very much like how it's, uh, I guess, stomach opens up here. A very cool shape here. Looks very nice and cozy here. Maybe a little bit tight getting in there. Here we have this really cool uh, sloth walker. So I, I always like re, uh, realistic details, like the cat, the cat logo here. So it looks like an actual company made this to, tra to traverse these uh, giant trees. So you can see how the sketch here start with a real sloth, then kind of make a mechanical version. They kind of exaggerate it. So it's always nice to see how uh, studies are done, how, how the legs will animate or articulate, for example. Here we have a, a hermit crab walker. Looks like a part submarine, part aircraft carrier, part uh, hermit crab. So I very much like these reference images. We have like a lighthouse here, the hermit crab lifeboat submarine here we have a junk mech very nice design i like i like these uh crab designs that walk from side to side looks like it was originally maybe a camel or something here or an elephant so uh, very cool designs here and uh these are really cool reference images. I may have to save some of these right here. Here we have a heavy equipment lumber mech suit. So imagine a future where regular lumberjacks are enough. You just have like uh, huge machines. And so I do like how, how uh, some of these artists put together the put together these reference images here. So you can just kind of take this right here and use this as your own reference images. It's all ready to go for you. We've got this nice single wheel motorbike. Always nice to see some cool non-traditional vehicle designs. Here we have something called Creature Town, which is like an entire town built on the mechanical creatures. So we, have a, we have a whale here. We have a, a spider. I mean, it's a really cool idea to have a, a huge moving city. It reminds me of that movie, which I think was originally maybe a book called uh, Mortal Engines. So a large mobile city, I think, is a very fun idea. Here we have one of those uh, anglerfish. 
that you find deeper in the ocean. This is... Maybe it looks like a, like a plucked chicken, maybe? Uh, ostrich. Um, so yeah, just, just really cool ideas here. Here we have a horrific uh, alien bug design. So I always like to see variety in artists, like make, make mechanical things, organic things, architecture. So once again, really cool combination of reference images here. And we have some uh, cool little weapon designs here. Always nice to see some cool little guns here. Interesting uh, grenade launcher here. We have a very interesting looking uh, personal mobile suit. So these types of more realistic mechs are not my favorite ones. I like the more colorful mechs with faces and more personalities. And but I do like I do like a lot of shapes here. So sometimes you can just when you're looking for inspiration for shapes, it's a good idea to just look around here. And sometimes just some cool sketches may get your mind going. All right, guys, that has been Long K Chen. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching and take care.